funny. Be careful. stairs and lost our first baby you have that image in your head that's all it is. i can't shake the feeling carly that something bad is going to happen do you understand you know why do you want to know why it's because you want this baby so much you're already invested in it that's all it is so so all these possibilities are going through your head all the bad things it's normal i have the same fears but what i try and do is i try and focus on our hopes you know the all these wonderful times we're going to have with our baby. He or she is going to be just fine. He's going to be safe. I promise you, okay? You have nothing to worry about. Clip. Oh, do you think you made enough? Well, you're, you're eating for two. Yeah, well, this is enough for 20, so... Sit on down and help me out. Thank I'm not you. hungry, actually, but... Well, I'm sorry you made a promise to me. Well, well, Remember, uh, you're going to match me bite for bite? I will eat later. Oh, you are such a cheater, Sonny. Such a cheater. You, you order me around, and I do everything you tell me to. All right, some things that you tell me to, and you don't do a word I say. Thinking of the baby. Mm -hmm. Eat your vegetables. Okay. I will, but only because I love you. And because I think it's so wonderful how you take care of me. That's just the beginning, actually. I, I'm, uh, I got other ideas, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Such as? <laughs> I want to I buy you um, brand new shoes off flats. Oh, no, thank you. I like my heels just fine. I don't want you to trip. Oh, so, so what? It's going to be all flats? How about some um, support hose? Frumpy dresses and, and baggy sweaters for warmth? Oh, it's going to be so great. Sonny Corinthos and his fat, frumpy wife. What are you talking about? <laughs> what am I talking about? You, you are you're sexy when you're, when you're pregnant. Right. You get, to, you get that little belly and then, you know. I get to feel the baby moving inside, so. Well, you know, with us as parents, this baby's gonna be a kicker. Stop procrastinating on the vegetables. I'm gonna feed both of you. No. Okay, well, yes on the carrots and no on that spinach. Spinach has a lot of vitamins. Yeah, but it's... Ugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Mm. Jason, I went into this with my eyes open. Okay, I want to be with you. And nothing in the world is going to scare me away. Mark 
doctor told me you, you, you were over here. I didn't, I didn't believe it. This is how you disrespect me? By bringing my, my sister to bet her across the hall? Is that no, what you're trying to do? It, so isn't, you guys can, it isn't do, like that. Oh, how, how much... How much more are you going to push me? Jason, honestly. Sorry, how much sorry. more are you going to... This has nothing to... Okay. Courtney, I... I need to speak to Sonny Long. Why don't you just go check on Carly? What has happened to you? I, I didn't bring her out of disrespect. Sonny, I brought her here to keep her safe. Why? Because a sniper took a shot at us tonight. How much proof, Jason, do you need to give her up? My brother is an arbitrary, controlling egomaniac. He just barged in to Jason's apartment and started yelling at us, Carly. I mean, no, no, hello, Jason. No, what are you doing here? He just... Well, what were you doing there, Courtney? <sighs> okay. I'm moving in for a while, but I have a good reason. I do. I swear. But does Sonny care? No, no, of course not. He just wants to rant and rave. <sighs> have something to eat, okay? I'm, I'm not hungry. No, well, neither am I. Well, you're faking it pretty well. Well, Sonny wants me to eat. I want to make him happy. Why did he make so much? Because it's who Sonny is. All right, he, he does too much. He, he, he pushes too hard. He, he goes a little overboard. He wants to make sure that, that the baby and I are eating enough. He wants to make sure we get enough protein and vitamins and minerals. It's to show that he cares, and I get that. So what do I do? I make an effort. I go along with it. And I think you should do the same, Courtney. How can you say that? Because he cares about you. Okay, Carly, we are not talking about a plate of food here. We're talking about my life. He... Sonny wants me to give up the man that I'm in love with. Courtney, I have supported you and Jason every step of the way. And, and I believe you deserve to love each other. And, and Sonny has handled it badly. But it's only because he is concerned about you. But that still does not give him the right to run my life, Carly. He is not the ogre that you make him out to be. This is costing him too, Courtney. I'm sorry, but Sonny can change his mind anytime he feels like it. And I hope he does. But in the meantime, he thinks this is the best thing to do to protect you. And you know what? You could be discreet even if you don't agree with him. No, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's just... Okay, it's you know what? You, you want to love Jason? Courtney, fine. Good for you. But if you care at all about Sonny, you don't need to rub his face in it. Just pack up your bags and move back to the loft. Jason pulled me to the floor and, uh, and the bullet went over my head. Thank God you're okay. Jason doesn't think that they were seriously aiming to hit me. I mean, he thinks they were sending him a warning. All the same, he thought I should be in a, a safe place, and the choices were out of town or in Jason's apartment, and I, I didn't want to leave him, so here I am. Yeah, I guess it it makes sense, but it's going to be very hard on Sonny. Sonny's just going to have to deal with it, Carly. Carly, it, it's really not that simple. Carly? I've seen you here for a while. Yeah, well, I'm here now. Someone took a shot at me and Jason, so I'm... I'm moving in with him across the hall. Well, uh, I'm glad to see you're not hurt. Is Jason all right? He's fine. Good. Is Sonny in? No. And I don't know when he's coming back. He's across the hall with Jason. Faith called and warned me the shot was coming. A warning shot to get my attention. Sonny, Faith... Faith wants me to help her take you out. Well, Faith needs to be eliminated. I, we, we have to find out who she's working with first. Well, she might be acting on her no, own. She, look, I know that she's getting money from Ned, but she's definitely working with someone else. We need to find out who. If we take her out first... We lose a connection and the side partner's still out there. And what do you think? She, she wants me to work with her. Well, she... She, <laughs> she thinks you're ready to turn against me.
Maybe we can use that to our advantage. <clears throat> Faith doesn't understand loyalty. She's making the assumption that you're ready to negotiate, right? You need to, you need to follow her. Find out who she meets. She's reckless. She doesn't have patience. She'll lead us right to the silent partner. What do you want me to do? You know what I need you to do? Tell Courtney it's over. I'll, I'll just let you know once you contact me. No, I don't want to hear from you. You're not involved in my business anymore. You know what? I can't stop both of you from being together and doing whatever you got to do. But I, you know what? Nothing has changed. So, uh, Sonny and Jason have finally settled their differences. You'd have to ask Sonny that. Courtney told me about the shooting. Rick wants to know how things are with you and Jason. Is that right? Mm. Yeah, I'm just glad that Courtney and Jason are all right. Listen, if there's anything that I can do to help Sonny... Well, I pay you to be my lawyer. If I need you, I'll call. Absolutely, I understand. I just brought by the revisions of the contracts for the coffee shop. Yeah, just go ahead and put those on, uh, on the table. Thank you very much. Jason's back. Things should get back to normal now, huh? It's worse than ever. Really? What do you mean? Sonny's mad at hell at Jason. Not what I expected to hear. Hey. Come sit down and eat with me. I've barely made a dent in this feast you've made me. Somebody's shot at Courtney tonight. How long before they kill someone that I love? Well, what do you mean? You don't know where Greg is. Find him. Benny would have never left me hanging like this. Okay, I'll tell you what. You tell Greg that if he, if he wants to replace Benny, start acting like him. These people, they don't... Uh, 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 well, I'm glad that I'm not Greg right now. I made changes in the casino transfers that have not been changed. Shipments are landing all over the place. Nobody knows where the hell they're going. Who am I supposed to go to now? Rick? So do you need to calm down? No, I hate Rick. What's his cell number? He's probably at the cellar. Okay, good. I gotta go. I'm doing it myself. These people don't, they're incompetent. Okay, you know what, sweetie? Um, no, no. Is, you know, I, I'm gonna go with you no. and, you know, maybe we I'm can going. Advance or I'm something. fine. You take care of the baby and you rest. I'm leaving. Okay, but let me just grab my purse and my coat and I'll come with you, Why? Sonny. Because, you Why? know what? You'll be there with me. I'll be. Harley, it's all fine. It's not that I'm questioning you, Jason. Hey, hey, we need to talk. Okay, okay, just come in. I'm just finishing up. Look, just keep me posted, okay? I need to know everything that's going on. Okay. Okay, everything's gonna be okay. What's wrong? Sonny's getting worse. It's happening to him again, Jason. I know. I know that you're worried. Carly, I am too, but we can manage this. Manage? Have you forgotten what it was like last time? There's, there has got to be a medical reason for this, Jason. Well, if he went to a doctor he, or a he's psychiatrist... Not gonna, he's not going to go to the doctor. To... He would die first. You know that. I know. God, I know. He, he acts like... He's so ashamed, you know? Like, it, like it's his fault. And, that, and that's why we have to cover for him until he comes out of this. Carly, right now, I am protecting Sonny's business by stopping all the wrong decisions. And in the meantime, I'm going to... I'm going to try to stay out of sight with Courtney. You and Courtney are on his mind all the time. His fear for her, his anger at you, not to mention his paranoia about me and the baby. Jason, I was walking down the stairs completely normal. He jumps up off the couch, panic-stricken, and he thinks somebody's going to push me. Jason, nobody was there. I, he's, he's just worried that you're going to fall down again. He's barely 
slept since he fired you. When he does sleep, he wakes up screaming from nightmares. He went through a quart of scotch by three o'clock. He doesn't trust his men. He thinks that they, they, they're not listening he can, to he him. He can pull himself He's, back. He's done it before. Yeah, really? I know. Okay, well, what if he can't? Jason, please, what if he can't? He's at the breaking point already. It's not going to take a whole lot to push him past it. He needs you I can't, to help. I can't help. I want to help, but he's not going to let me help. The only person who can see this through to the other side is you. You? Hey, son. No, don't hate me. I've been calling all over looking for you. What the hell are you doing here? I'm watching Courtney. Who, who asked you to? Jason. He, he asked me oh, if you guys keep an eye on oh, him. Shut up. Come here for a second. Son. Do you have a learning disability? Who do you think you are busting in here and, and just pulling me away from my customers? Has it ever occurred to you that one of these customers might be waiting for the chance to take a shot at you? Okay, Sonny, you're being ridiculous. I'm going to This is where I work. When are you, I am not going to hide when from are you my gonna, life. When are you going to get this? You're a smart girl. You may not have a life if you keep this up. You understand what I'm saying? Huh? Okay, Sonny. I don't want to hear I don't want to hear how you make your own decisions. How you, you're, you're your own person. Well, your, your brilliant decision-making ability has landed you in my world. And I know how it works. You don't. I've got a wife at home right now, living in a bulletproof penthouse. Because that's where she should be at this time, not running around, making a target for herself. Okay, but you just keep it down. No! Everybody can hear you. I'm not gonna keep it down! Everybody knows who I am, right? Big bad Sonny Corinthos? Hey, how many times have you seen my face? On the front page, under the headline, uh, shooting. Maybe one of you can, can help her out, my little naive sister, before she gets her face on the front page. Murder victim, Courtney Matthews. God, you are so out of control. No, it's no. ridiculous. Hold, hold on to me. Stop. We're leaving. Stop We're it. leaving. Stop Max it. is going to drive you home. No. Max, gonna, no. he's going to drive no. you home. No. What do you mean, You're no? You're leaving. No, or if you don't leave, I'm going to call the police now. What? You heard me. Oh. I'm trying to help you? And you're going you're gonna to threaten me by calling the police? with you. Huh. Sonny, the last time this happened, Jason. Yes, you did help, Carly. I sat in a trashed apartment with him, trying to keep him from hurting himself until you showed no, up. No, 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 you did, you did more than that. He broke a whiskey bottle. He cut his hand. I mean, if he had hit an artery, he could have bled to death, Jason. There would have been nothing that I could do to stop him. He won't let me he le help He lets him. you stay. And that's a big deal. And listen, that's all that anyone could do for Sonny. I'm not strong okay. enough to stop him, let's, Jason. Let's just, you are. Let's just stop for a minute, okay? And think about this. Nothing's lost here. Not yet. Sonny is fighting against it. He's, he's going to be okay. Maybe. Do you think he's even aware that he is fighting? Yes. And he has a reason to fight. You and Michael and the baby. He suddenly wants to be around for his life. You know how much family means to him. The last time this happened, Sonny didn't have one. In the end, the baby is going to keep him grounded. What? Carly, what's wrong? Why, why are you crying? It's the baby. some stuff with coffee companies. There are some ways I can be useful to you here. Hey, Rick. I tell you what, you want to be useful? Can you shut your mouth? Because I'm so sick of hearing. Do you know how to shut your mouth or not? Or does it just keep flapping uncontrollably? 
Hi, Sunny. You talking to me? I just said hi. Well, you can't blame me for being surprised. Last time you, you thought I was walking death, you know? I'd like, I, 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 I was killing people left and right wherever I went. But you know what? Nothing's changed. Sam, well, why don't you let me just put the bottle away if you can go home, Carly? Don't mention my wife. And don't tell me what to do. Okay. Don't! Okay, okay. Vodka rocks. So how many poor suckers gave their lives to the Corinthos cause today? Thanks. You picked the wrong place. You picked the wrong place to go drinking tonight, can't you, boy? Aren't you getting a wee bit tired of the immature candy boy routine? Why, well, it suits you. Tough on the outside, soft in the middle. Always melting when going gets hot. Like cheap candy. Well, if the cake is <laughs> outside, I'd be happy to prove otherwise. Excuse me, Mr. Jackson. Bill has been settled. Why don't you consider the drink on the house, all right? You need to leave now. Stay out of it, Rick, and yeah, get your hands off me. All right. I want Jackson's mouth. To take him where his butt can't follow. That's right. Just always me, talking. Grant, always on. talking. That's right. right? Can you handle oh, that? Can I handle what? Well, you're gonna whistle for your lap dog, Jason. Go. How about if I cut you open? See if you bleed sugar. Carla, you need to tell me. Is something wrong? The baby's fine, I swear. Then, then what? It's just that Sonny wants this child so badly. Well, don't, and don't you? I, with all my heart, Jason, but it's not that simple. Okay, then just tell me what's... can to contain it, Jason and I will be there in a minute. What? What's wrong? Sonny is at the club with Jax. He's got a bottle to his throat. We gotta go. It's all your talk, candy boy. Open your mouth so I can stick the bottle down your throat. You wouldn't be so pretty now, Sonny. would you? Come on, open no, no, no. it. Get your hands off of me. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Well, I'm not done with you yet. Why don't you put the bottle okay. down so hey, you have Max, Marco, really get him out of here. No. Hey, get, get off me, okay? I'm walking out. So all right, hey, come on. on. Get yeah, I'm coming. No, 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 Let's no, go. No, no. Come on. Stop. This isn't about Jack. This is about I... you being mad at me. I thought I told you to stay home. Okay, just, just take it easy, okay? This is Carly's club. What do you mean, Carly's club? I bought every napkin, every bottle, every glass in this place. So don't you tell me what I can't or cannot say. You can fool yourself, Jason. Openly defying me in front of all these people. Order me around. You were nothing when I met you. I taught you everything. I gave you everything. And how do you repay me? By spitting on my loyalty. By sleeping with my sister behind my back. Put me in danger. We're gonna get it on right now. I'm gonna have it out with my best friend. What's going on down there? Jason and Sonny are about to kill each other, so I'm calling the police. Oh, like hell you are. Come on, Sonny, this isn't the place. Let me have Max bring the car around and we can take it to the warehouse. You work. want me? Come on, come get me. 
Take me down. Take me down. Take it all. I don't give a damn. But if that's your plan, Jason, you're going to carry it. You're going to carry it. I'm telling you, you're going to look me in the eye. You know that's not what Dad, I want. No, that's not what you... No, you'd rather sneak behind my back. Right? That's what you'd rather do, sneak behind my back, go side to side. You're no different than any of them. Anybody else who's betrayed me. But the difference is, you know what? You hide your true colors longer and better. But I see right through you, Jason! I'll bet you're off. So say no! Hey, hey, no! Hey, hey! Do not get... No. Carly, Carly, stay out of here. I don't want you to get hurt. Easy. Stop it, you guys are family. Don't do this. Don't. Do you no. see why I wanted to call the no. police? No. Carly, Carly, stay out of here. I don't want you to get hurt. Easy. Stop it, you guys are family. Don't do this. Don't. I wanted you. You a coward? Huh? Hiding behind my wife? You think you can take me down? Huh? You think you can take me down, Jason? Come on, come get me. But I am warning you. You better come with the strength of conviction. I'm not going to fight you. Sonny, take me home, please. I, got, I need to go home now. Is the baby all right? Take me home. Is the baby all right? So please, the baby's fine. Take, take me home. All right, let's go. Okay. I'm, I'm fine. I One more thing, Jason. You're nothing to me. You're less than a stranger. And if you keep working against me, I'm going to consider you a threat. And you know what that means. Okay. You know what that means, Yeah, Jason. let it go. Come on. I think somebody made it very clear that you're not welcome. You want a sandwich? You know I hate sandwiches. Okay, you want some scrambled eggs? Nothing. When was the last time you had anything to eat, Sonny? It doesn't matter, Carter, okay? Because I'm, I'm not hungry. You're drinking a lot. Yeah. Is there an ocean around here? Because if you, if you want me to sleep, then... That means I, uh, I have to drink or swim so that way I can get tired. <laughs> okay. So you want to tell me what happened then? At the cellar, which time? Let's start with Jax. What made you hold a bottle to his throat? Well, he's got a big mouth, right? So, you know, I was drinking. I was drinking and uh, I was mad because I got in a fight with Courtney. And I was there and then he, he started yapping. So next thing I know, I had, I had him over the Boy, well, I guess I had something on his throat. But then you and Jason walked in, right? What What were you thinking? Getting in between me and... I, I could have hit you with my fist. Hey, you never would have done that, honey. No, that's... You know, you don't know that. What are you talking about? What do you, you mean? You never hurt me in a million years, Sonny. You don't know what I'm capable of. Neither do I. Alexis, this is not a good time. I apologize profusely for interrupting. Can we have a moment alone, please? What makes you... <laughs> what makes you think I'm interested in anything you have to say, Alexis? You barge in here, right? Past my guard, you dismiss the, the mother of my children. Children? Yeah. Cardi's pregnant. She's having my baby. Congratulations, Carly. I can only imagine what this means to you. Actually, it's the reason why I'm here. We need to discuss Christina. I... Uh, I assume... that 
when you say Christina, you mean your daughter, not the sister you accused me of killing. Yes. How's it feel to be wrong, Alexis? I didn't kill Christina. Alcazar did. And then you killed him, an eye for an eye. Nice touch. Especially the insanity plea. But you know what? I wish you'd have caught to it sooner. That way, Jason and Brenda didn't have to spend that time in, 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 in the courts. You know what I mean? But that's just my opinion. You were not insane! You're a smart lawyer. And you found a defense that allows you to get away with murder. And it worked. You don't have to serve any time. You don't think I'm being punished? They're taking away my daughter. You mean the daughter you, you tried to insist was mine? I wanted to tell I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear your excuses. I do, I do believe that you thought uh, Christina was mine until the DNA test came. You should, you should thank your lucky stars. You should get on your knees and thank God that I'm not the father of that child. I don't want to say anything anymore. I'm done, okay? So can you please uh, say what you got to say and then leave? The quartermates have custody of my daughter, and I know that you have leverage with them. That I give to you? I, I was hoping that you would have... The only leverage I have with the quartermains is Michael, and I would never exchange my child for yours. I wouldn't... What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Just forget that you look down on me? You accuse me of having blood on my hands? Am I just supposed to forget that? Well, now your hands aren't clean, are they? Let me tell you something. You should be grateful. You should be grateful that you have a baby that is alive and waiting for you. Did you know that Alexis was faking the alternate personality? It was in her eyes. You didn't see it? No. Alexis is afraid of losing her child, but she's not afraid of losing herself. She doesn't bite every minute not to slide into this bottomless pit. She doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't know what that's about. I'd have recognized it. Because I do know. I know. I know. You know what's happening, right? seen it before when you walked in here and the place was trashed and I had that piece of glass in my hand. I'll never forget it. It's the first time I realized you could hurt. First time I saw your soul. You remember And, I, and you were frightened. Remember how frightened you were? You didn't mean it, honey. Yeah, but actually, I did mean it. I wanted to scare you. I wanted to scream at you. I was getting to a place where, you know, being out of control felt good. I wanted to wreck everybody who cared about me. Everything that 
brought me joy. And I know this. I know this. Because you, when we lost our first baby, you were the one who held me together. You didn't let yourself fall back. And you are not going to let yourself fall now. Our baby's in here. He's fine. You're dreaming again, huh? We've, we slept on the couch. It's okay. She doesn't want the baby born. What? She's gonna try to hurt it. Who? Who do, what, what, are, what are you talking about? Huh? What's going on? Don't. Okay, no, 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 no. Whoever it is is going away. They're going away. It's okay. It's okay. Stay there. Stay there. Max, it's not a good time. 
It's not a good time. Come back in a couple Wait, wait, hours. wait. Come here. No, no, no. Come here. No. Come here. Glad you're here. I need you. Faith Roscoe has to be stopped. Faith's not gonna bag off. I need to protect my family. Listen, Eric's a lawyer. He can't handle this. Rick's all I got right now. Carly, that's all I got. All right. I, I need to know who's bankrolling Faith. It's not Ned Ashton. It's a silent partner. I need you to get proof. I need names. Are you up to this? I'll do everything I can. What? <laughs> you're gonna tell me if you feel uncomfortable, right? You're not gonna just sit there and suffer in silence if you hate everything I'm doing. Oh, I can hardly notice furniture. I'm not gonna hate it. Plus, I'd rather you fix it up than complain like Brenda every day. Yeah. Hey, hey. It's getting worse, Jason. Okay, okay, okay. Courtney, can you just... No, actually, um, I, I need her to say I've got a bit of a plan and then... Plan? No way. No, your plans don't it. work. Jason, Sonny is across the hall right now with Rick. He is telling him that Faith Roscoe has some silent partner and he wants Rick to find out who it is. He told me... He told him all this right in front of me. Okay, he didn't tell me to leave. He, he, he confided in Rick. You know he doesn't trust him. You know he thinks he's working an agenda. Okay, you're right. You're right to, to come to me about Rick. I can watch Rick. Jason, that's not enough, okay? I'm scared. I'm scared that Sonny is, is, is going to leave himself wide open for his enemies, for Faith Roscoe, for the silent partner. Carly, you're right. There's a silent partner, but I can't stop Faith until I know who it is. Okay, well, I can figure it out with you. I've got this plan, yes, but it's a good one and it will work. But you both have to be willing this... to go along. What? What would you want, Jason? Would you rather that Sonny continues to tell Rick things until he incriminates himself? How are we supposed to protect him then, Jace? Huh? Come on, it's going to work. You just have to go okay. along. Okay. Fine, what do you need? I need you to be in on this and willing. Yeah, okay, I'll do whatever it takes. Okay. Dangerous. There is no risk to Courtney, and, and if it all works, you get the information that you need, Jason. Courtney, um, I mean, this, this is a big thing. You think you can do your part? Well, I won't like it. But, uh, we need to find out who Faith's working with. Carly, this... Look, just, you know, you need to tell Sonny, okay? Go tell him right now, I, all of it. I will. The last thing that I want is for him to be blindsided by this. We need to meet. What happened? Well, Sonny has me looking into who your silent partner is. Yeah, if, uh, if you come up with any information, just let me know. Thanks. You get anywhere? No, not yet. Um, listen, are you sure about this silent partner of Faith's? Faith's not smart enough to play this game. Somebody's behind her. Somebody who's got a grudge. They're using her, pulling her string. I... Be right back. What? Son Sonny, wait a minute. Where are you going? No, no. Don't, don't follow me. Don't. I'm, I'm taking care of this myself. Okay. You go tell Sonny about this right now. I will. I can already tell that you hate this. Carly's plans never work. This one has to. So is Rick still here? No, and uh, Sonny left too. When? Uh, Rick left a few minutes ago and Sonny left before that. Where did he... Who's with him, Max? Well, you said he had to take care of something alone. He ordered me for you to stay Wait, wait, wait. There's no bodyguard? You, you, with well, him? You He's that... alone? Why, did, why didn't you come to talk to me? Why didn't you come get Jason? 
Look, Sonny's given orders not to tell Jason anything. Well, you know what? Sonny is in a bad mood, and when he's like that, he doesn't think straight. You know what, Max? If anything happens, this is on your head, so you better go get everybody, get all the men, and find him now. to hear what you and I would have to negotiate, Sonny. No negotiation. This is a one-time offer. Sounds an awful... Hold on! Information in exchange for your life. Sounds like a threat. Well, you chose to, to partner with Faith Roscoe. Somebody who's harmed me, my family, shot at us. What am I supposed to do? Ned, huh? What am I supposed to do? Well, I can assure you. Whatever it is that Faith did, I had nothing to do with it. You're in way over your head. And I'm going to tell you right now. If you don't want to die, you better tell me who Faith Roscoe's working with. I know it's not just you. It's somebody else. I need a name. I have no idea what you're talking about. And even if I did, I would never tell you. Paid the price for getting involved with Faith Roscoe. I've temporarily lost custody of little Christina. As much as that hurts, there is one small consolation. And that's seeing you, Sonny, afraid and desperate to save his family. But you can't do anything about it. So how does it feel? After all these years of destroying the people in my family, the people that I love, how does it feel to be helpless? You think I'm helpless? Ned, you think I'm helpless? Oh, look, look at me. Go ahead, Sonny, go ahead and give me that gem! Sonny! Back off! Hey, hey, hey. Michael Corinthians Jr., you're under arrest for assault. So, Ned, do you want to press charges? You're damn right I am. I thought you were too smart to do your own dirty work. Yeah, I bet you, uh, sorry that you got rid of your number one stooge, Jason. Freedom of rights. Michael Corinthians Jr., you have the right to remain silent. If you give up that right, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present during questioning. I want to speak with my husband now. Where is he, Max? Well, we're looking. In case he's in the middle of something, would you like me to relay a message? No, I want you to find him. And when you do, I need to speak with him myself. Rick? You let Sonny leave here? You let him leave without a guard? Whoa, 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 whoa. You left before I did. I assumed that he took somebody with him. Why? What's happened? Well, I need to speak to him, okay? Did you, did you find out who, who Faith's new partner no, is? No, 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 not yet. I, we, we've got bigger problems than that. Courtney and Jason broke up. And Jason's way out of control, and, and I just, I think it could turn out bad for Sonny. So, so is this another one of those Elizabeth Weber stories? No, Fred? I saw it myself, okay? Courtney showed up for a shift at Kelly's, Jason followed her in, and then they just started going at it. Jason, hey, hey, it's me. Um, Rick's over here, he's telling me some story about, about... Kelly's something with you. And will you call me back? Don't ignore this phone call. Jason, please call me. Carly, I've never seen Jason that furious. He was throwing stuff all over the place. I just think in his current state, if he runs into Sonny, it's not going to turn out well. God, I feel like my whole world is coming apart right now. Look, Carly, I want you to know that Sonny does have somebody that he can trust. I know you're not going to believe this. It's going to take some time, but I swear I will look out for Sonny. He's given me a chance. I just hope you will, too. Rick, I just want what's best for my husband. I want him to be safe. That's all I want, too. Right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello? Carly. Scott Baldwin. Oh, God, what do you want? Hey, now be nice. I don't have to make this phone call. I just wanted to let you know that your husband has been arrested for assault. So you need to get yourself a cheap lawyer, because he's in a whole lot of trouble. So 
told you you'd slip up one day, Sonny. You finally did. You are not. What happened? What's wrong? Who's there? Sonny's been arrested. For what? For assault. With whom? I don't, I, I don't you know. know. Don't, I didn't don't, ask it's Scott. Right. Don't, what, don't worry about it. I'll go down to the PCPD. I'll take care of this. I'll get him released. All right? Thank you. Are you going to come? No. I, well, yeah. I, I got to hang with Michael for a minute. I'll meet you there, okay? okay? Jason, hey, it's me. I, I, Sonny left. I didn't get a chance to tell him what your plan was, and now he's been arrested. He's at the PCPD, and I'm going down there now. I will tell him as soon as I can, okay? Bye. Mommy, mommy! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, come on, who's this hockey stick? Oh, my God, it's very cool. It's great, honey. <laughs> what you gonna do? I'm gonna try it out on the ice. You gonna go now? Yeah. Okay, well, have fun. You be careful, okay? Okay. All right, see you guys. Can you come, too? Oh, um... I'll try and meet you there later, okay? okay? I promise, but I gotta do something for Daddy first. Okay. Okay, have fun. Okay. Sorry. Good help was hard to find, huh? No brass knuckles around, had to do the dirty work yourself. Book this punk. You ought to be charged with attempted murder. If I wanted you dead, Ned, you'd be on a slab with a toe tag and a plastic sheet. Are you hearing these threats? Oh, the thing about death threats, they tend to tick people off. So, Ned, do you want to file a complaint against him? Show me where to sign. This officer will take you. Fill out the paperwork and sign. Not good, Ned. Not good. Hey, are you losing your cool? Is the pressure starting to get to you? It, it can't be easy being the town gangster, you know, day after day after day, putting on your fancy little suits, Having your nails done, your hair coiffed, turning young girls into strippers. Of course, that's easy when you get your boys out there to take the heat. Now that Benny is pushing up daisies and Jason got a mind of his own, you're out of lackeys. You really are an idiot. You know that? And you're finished. You should get out of the business before somebody really puts you out. Like, say, Faith Roscoe. Ned's girlfriend. That's why you went after him, wasn't it? Charge me or release me. I'll charge you when I'm damn good and ready. You know, Tagger, go in there and put him on ice, all right? Looks like he's thawing out a bit. Yes, sir. Got a tough guy. You might want to think of his options, tough guy. You know, a plea bargain might be the way to go. Get out of here, will you? You're losing it, man. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. This is cool. Never thought I'd see the day. Yeah. He's like a little bull shark in there. Can't stop moving. Sonny sure is mad as hell at something or somebody. My guess is it isn't Ned Ashton. Well, you know, if we can just make him a little madder, maybe he'll give us something that we can charge him with. Keep the pressure on. I want him kept isolated. Jay Baldwin, here to see my client. Like to Taggart. Gotta hand it to Sonny. His attorneys get to the PCPD quicker than any lawyer I know. What does he do? Send you a car and driver? Yeah, don't give up your day job, Lieutenant. I'm here to see my client, please, immediately. Well, you might want to start in the other interview room where his victim, Ned Ashton, is filling out a detailed complaint about the vicious attack he sustained at the hands of your client, Sonny. I believe they're categorizing it as attempted homicide. Stop thrashing the furniture, all right? Take a seat. You're going to be here a while. Okay, one more word, Taggart, and I'm suing you Get for harassment There's no and brutality. Business. No, I'm visiting my wife. Get your hands off my wife, Taggart. Oh, you think you want I'm sick of you. Do you want it? Yeah, bring it, Come on. Come on. Get closer, then. Yeah, come on. Come on. 
Sonny has lots of enemies. One more time, Sonny. One more time. You're getting thrown in lockup. No questions asked. Never put fight, your hands fight, on my wife again. again. You okay, understand okay. me? Just keep bringing it, all right? All those threats, extra day times on your sentence, tough guy. Uh, I'm afraid I'm mistaken, Mr. Lieutenant. I've just been speaking with Mr. Ashton here, and apparently my client did not try to kill him after all. Excuse me? Well, Mr. Corinthos and Mr. Ashton were involved in a fistfight at Club 101 a few months ago, observed by about a dozen witnesses, all of which will swear that I believe the attack was provoked by Mr. Ashton here. Now, with this previously documented confrontation, I don't think we're going to have any problem proving that it was Mr. Ashton who provoked Mr. Corinthos. What? Ask him yourself. If Mr. Lansing has threatened you or coerced you in any way, no, it is liable. against the law. I'm aware of that. Well, then just tell me. I'll book him. I'm trying to regain custody of my infant daughter. Having fist fights with the local crime boss doesn't usually sit well with the family court. <clears throat> what about the truth? Can you guarantee the truth will win out? That Sonny will be punished and I'll be cleared for provoking his attempt on my life? I want to see justice done just as much as you do. In other words, the answer is no. Sonny is a menace. People that I love have died because of him and his mob. He should have been locked away years ago. But he makes payoffs, pulls strings, calls in favors, and the PCPD has their hands tied. We got him nailed this time. All you gotta do is sign out the complaint. I'm not a cape crusader. I'm just a dad trying to protect his baby. You gotta go sign some forms, retract your charges. Let's go. Uncuff him. I need to sign off on the paperwork for Mr. Corinthos's release. I'm gonna need a statement from you. Let's go. Okay, but honey, I, I, now, I need just a statement. Now, just... we'll talk later. Yeah. Meet me at the Elm Street Pier in a half an hour. What's going on, Jason? I'll fill you in when I see you. Doing good, Michael. Thanks. Hey. So what happened? You sounded upset on the phone. Uh, Tisha, can you take Michael to my mom's now? Not yet. Well, I'm practicing my slap shot. Sweetheart, Grandma is waiting for you. Just a little longer, please. Fifteen minutes. Okay. Tisha, can you get him some um, hot chocolate from the stand? He looks like he's going to need it when he's done. All right, no problem. Michael, I'm going to leave, but I want you to stay right here along the shoreline, okay? Okay. All right. So what's going on? I didn't get a chance to tell Sonny about our plan before he left the PCPD. But the PCPD? Sonny got arrested for salty Ned. What happened? I don't know. I guess they got into an argument and, and Sonny just, he snapped. And, and I dropped the charges, but Sonny was all hyped up when I got there and, and I didn't get a chance to tell him. And then uh, he's not answering his phone. Uh, Courtney, what if I can't tell him in time? Hello. Meet me at the Elm Street Pier right away. Why? Jason has agreed to give us exactly what we want. No, he's agreed to give you exactly what you want. He doesn't know I'm involved. <laughs> well, that's something we need to discuss. Did Does Jason know that I'm a part of this? Kirby paranoia, Rick. I haven't said a word. But he does know that you have a silent partner. Look, just meet me at the pier immediately. Why? What's the rush? I'll tell you when you get here. You know what? Thanks for the invitation, but I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. <laughs> You'll show up in the next ten minutes, or I won't be held accountable for what happens next. What are you doing here? I invited her. Sonny's still not picking me. 
No, Jason's right. My plans, they always turn out to be a disaster. Then why did he go along with it? Because you were there. Because he's been so upset and I took advantage of it. Maybe a little. When uh, we were at the cellar when Sonny and Jason were fighting and you, you jumped in the middle, Jason was a wreck. He came home and he, he told me how he thought Sonny was drowning and how he was only making it worse. Sonny threatened him and Jason blamed himself. You think that Sonny's more trouble than he's worth, don't you? I... I think that my brother can be enormously frustrating. Yeah, and I think you put up with a lot. Do you know why? Obviously you love him. No, do you know why? Courtney, I used to hate Sonny for the same reasons that you have problems with him. Because he's arrogant and he's domineering and he would take Jason for granted, especially when I thought that Jason was worth 10 of Sonny. And then one day I, I saw something in Sonny that I was never supposed to. I saw his heart, I saw his pain, and I saw all the things that he carries inside of him. And as horrible and cruel and, and mean that he can be to other people, he's, he's a thousand times worse to himself. You just don't know that side of him yet, Courtney. He's, you know, your big brother, you're the little sister, he wants to be strong for you. But one day you're gonna see it. And then you're gonna understand that his love is completely worth it. I hope so. Because I, I did what you wanted today. I tore into Jason. I made it look real, and I said everything that I could to hurt him. Jason knew why. He understood it's the only way that Faith would believe that Jason would turn against Sonny. How's that for ironic? My brother hurts people for their own good, and now I'm doing it too. Courtney. Mom, look! I'm a hockey player. Michael! Don't, don't move. When do you set meetings for Faith? Faith Kim is my guest. The woman who shot at my sister at your girlfriend? You're right, she wanted to negotiate. Yeah? How did that go, Jason? What did she offer you to turn against me? You're the one that turned on Jason. How long did you expect him to... Shut up! Who do you think runs your business, Sonny? Who do you think your men are loyal to? I can't believe you waited this long. He could have taken over your territory years ago. He did. Then he gave it back. Remember that, Jason? I knew you were loyal. When did that change? When did you decide you wanted more than what I had listed? This is business. Well, who taught you business? Who warned you it was fatal to let things get personal? Who showed you how to run a territory, how to negotiate, when to compromise, when to take the enemy down? Is that why you're holding that gun? Whoa! Is that what this is about? You know the answer to that. When did I become your enemy? Not really the enemy so much as an obstacle. Though you were damned unreasonable at letting him date your sister. You know, that was a real miscalculation on your part. You should have used that to your advantage. Did I not tell you to shut up? You don't give the orders. Anymore. Neither do you. You know why I'm doing this, right? For Carly, Michael, Courtney. Oh, you want to, you want to, you want to say? I try to me? warn you, Sonny. I try to make you understand. You understand now that you pushed it so it had to be this way? Are you waiting for his blessing? Just do it! Where's your silent partner, Faith? What you do it? The police could come in any minute. Why do you care? I'm the one who's holding the gun. Because we're running out of time. Shoot I him! I don't shoot until I see your partner's face. I'm not gonna be double-crossed by you. There's no double-cross! Then where's your partner? You shoot him now, or he's gonna kill both of us. She's right. Come on, Jason. Come on, all right, slow, honey. All right, reach out, reach out for Aunt Courtney. Okay. Okay, come on. Got him? Almost. 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 Okay. okay. Oh, I got him. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. 
Jason, you started this, finish it. Shoot me! Go ahead! Do what you gotta do. It's the only way you're gonna survive, Jason. Take what's mine. But be smarter than I was. Don't ever love anything more in your life. He's stalling. Shoot him! Go ahead, go ahead. You listening? Dumb up. That's the last lesson you're gonna get. So you better pay attention. I lied. When I called you a friend, when I taught you about loyalty and honor, they don't exist. Who are you working with? Oh, you bastard. You set me up. Give me his name or you're going to die right now. Well, I told him to be here. I'm tired of screwing around with you. Who is he? I don't know. Find the shooter! Who shot you, babe? Who's your partner? Tell me! Your partner now after he shot you, huh? Give him up. Tell me his name. Say anything. It doesn't, but what difference does it make? I need a name. Well, you know what? At least we know now that Faith has a partner. That had to be who shot her, right? Yeah. I think you're right. You see any sign of him? No, but I was close. This was all set up, right? What? You dragged me yeah, out of here? Was it a Car setup? Yes, Carly was supposed to tell you. Well, she tried to. She came to the police station. She's pregnant. <sighs> she should not be involved in this. You know that. Well, all I wanted... Carly to do was just tell you that I was setting Faith up. That's it. Well, I don't want my wife delivering messages, Jason. You should know better than that. I want her that's at home the, protected. You know, that's why this has to stop. We have to find out who Faith's working with and shut him down. Well, she better give him up before she dies. Gunshot wound to the chest, slow BP and tacky. All right, trauma two, please. Oh, as soon as, you you as soon as she wakes up, I want to talk to her. You stay out of my way, all right? Not right now. Okay, not right now. Trying to figure something out. Rick, here. trying to figure it out. Whoever, whoever did this is going to try to shut her up. Then we got to give it again. We got to get you two to get along. What about the baby? It's okay. It's okay. Three units. Where are Tony, they? Tony, listen to me. You've got to get no, 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 this no. man it's under okay. control. Okay, I'm fine. Sonny, Sonny, I'm fine. Calm down. What do we got here? Acute hypothermia. 
Uh, Cardi's pregnant. How long is she in the water? A, a few minutes. I don't know. Less than ten. What, what happened? When she went to get Michael and she fell through the well, ice. Where's Michael? How are her vitals <laughs> altered? Cork type temperature is 95 degrees. BP is 195 over, Sonny, over 122. Sonny, you Rescue Sonny. breathing at the scene. Okay. She can't die. You gotta save her. And we have to do our job, so you have to leave come on, come on. now. Sonny, just Sonny. Let, Sonny, let them help. Come on. Monica, please. Sonny, Michael's fine. He's... Leticia took him over to Bobby's. What happened? Oh, Michael got a new hockey stick, and I guess he just wanted to try it out on the ice. We told him to stay along the shore, but I, I don't know. I guess, he, I guess he wanted to pretend like he was skating. He didn't go in the water. And Carly saved him. We, we heard the ice cracking, and Carly went to get him, and, and she fell through the ice when she was handing him up to me. Too much, too much weight. Yeah, I guess so. Leticia and I, we pulled her out, but she was already unconscious. Um... Okay. Thank you for saving her. God, Jason, what if it wasn't enough? How can you say you saved Cody's life? No, it should have been me out there getting Michael, not Carly, Carly but it was too late. Carly, she was already... Just Carly did what she had to do, and so did you. Chest tube here, please. I'm sorry, I know this isn't a good time, but Faith is still unconscious. I'm just gonna check. It's not a good scene. Rick. Get, get out of here, please. I'm gonna go check on Faith. Yeah, you do that. Not that it's any of my business, but you're really not helping Sonny the two of you to You're right. It isn't any of your business, Rick. I'd love to punch that guy. Yeah, well, I might. He's right, though. About Sonny, I'm, I'm just, I'm making it harder by being here. Why don't, why don't you go, go to Bobby's and, and see Michael? I mean, he's going to be scared. You can tell him his mom's going to be okay. We don't know that. You just saved Carly. She'll do the rest. Step aside. I just. But sir, it's not no, allowed. No, I just want to see my wife for one second. Mm -hmm. there. I just. Sonny. Hey, yeah, Sonny. Yeah, I just you have to go to the wife. waiting area. I come know, on. But I, come on. Okay, don't grab me. Come on, then just go. Okay, no, just no, go. No, 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 don't Alan, grab me. You better get home. Okay. If you don't calm Alan, down, I'm going to call security and right. be thrown out. He's you get him right. in there. Well, you can't keep me from my wife, Alan. Stop. Hospital. Alan, everything's he's, he's gonna gone. be all right. He's he's not gonna hurt anybody. Please. I, I, I was out of line. Sonny. Oh. Sonny. Yeah. Come in. Blood pressure is very high. Now we can bring it down with medication. Uh, what about the baby? Did it get too cold? Listen to me. The hypothermia is not the problem. Her blood pressure is. Now we have medication that can lower it. If she doesn't get it, she could have a stroke, she could die. Give it to her. Whatever she needs, you give it to her. The medication will kill the baby.
Okay, I want to make sure I understand this. If I let you give Carla the medication, she'll lose her child. There's a very good possibility. I'm sorry. And if I don't, then what happens? Carly's blood pressure is very high. The antihypertensive will bring it down. Carly. You need to be straight with me, okay? If I don't give it to her, if I don't let you give it to her, then... Then she runs the risk of having brain damage, having a, a massive stroke, or possibly dying. Is there anything else you can give Carly? I mean, so that won't hurt the baby. There is no other alternative treatment. Look, Sonny, you can ask for a second opinion, but the longer you wait, the harder it is for Carly. Is there any chance Carly can be okay? I mean, it... There's just... always a chance. But the odds, Sonny... Yeah? The odds are against her right now. Carly would... would she would fight those odds. Yes, more. maybe, maybe she would, but it isn't her choice. This is your choice. I need some time with, with my wife. Look, I know how difficult this is. But Carly needs that medication. She needs it quickly. The longer you wait, the worse it gets for her. right now, okay? Like, I, I gotta... I, gotta, I can't lose... It. I can't lose my wife. Okay? Even for my own child. I can't do it, Jason. 
Give her the medication? I don't want my baby to die, but I don't have a choice. I'm gonna give, give her the shot. Jason. No, I'm, make, I'm making the decision here, Monica, he, not Sonny. He is Carly, trust husband. me, she would, she would let me choose. Okay, you give her the medicine, and when she wakes up, you tell her it was me, not Sonny. No. Monica. No, no. I'm, Sonny, I'm doing... I know you're doing it. You're doing it for me. I understand that. It's my wife. It's my child. I gotta make the decision now. Give, give, her, give her the medication. Wait, wait. What? What's wrong? Carly. I think she's waking up. Hey. Carly. Carly, listen. Mm. You waking, huh? I'm sorry. Wake up, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Yeah, how's her blood pressure? Up. Way up. She could strike at any second here. Can I take this off? Or... My head. Hey. My head. Michael. Michael's fine. You, you, you got him off the ice. Carly. Carly, you could have a stroke any moment. That's why your head hurts. Now, the medication we're going to give you, that's going to save your life. But you'll lose the baby. No. No, don't. don't Carly, my baby. without the medication, no. you could die. Just stay with me. No, no, no. I'm, I'm with you, okay? Listen to me. No one's going to hurt. Listen to me. You just got to relax, okay? You don't think about anything else. Just, I'm right here with you. All right? Hold my hand. I'm right here. No, you're fine. I love you, too. You're a miracle, baby. Well, I'll be damned. Her blood pressure's going down. Keep an eye on the monitor, okay? Sure. It's okay. Carly, you scared us. One word to describe it. <laughs> I remember so far. The ice. And the baby. Is the baby okay? Yeah, baby. Baby's fine. She she uh, took him to your mother's. We need to call him. We need to tell him that I'm okay. We'll tell him he has an amazing mother who saved his little brother and sister. Hi. Hi. Um, hi, Carly. Hi. Hi. Monica gave me all the details. Uh, 
blood pressure was very high for a while. But it went back down, right? Yes, but what I'm concerned about is mild bleeding. What do you mean? Oh. Carly? Oh, my God. Can you guys do something? Do it. Is there anything? Uh, What's right happening, Morning? This is what I was talking home. about. There's, breathing. There's nothing I can do. Uh, Sonny. I'm right here. I'm right here. Uh, I'm right here. Uh, and we're going to lose a baby. The cramping may stop, but if it doesn't, there is a chance she could miscarry. You, can, you can't do anything? No, I can't, Sonny. Uh, it's okay. Just hope for the best. Okay, okay, it's okay, Sonny. I promise. I know. I'm not going to lose a baby. It's okay. Be with Carly tonight. Keep the baby safe inside her. It was a miracle. I know. I mean, Carly's blood pressure dropping. Like that. Thank you for sparing our child. Don't take him away from us now. Darkness is back. <clears throat> I can feel it. It's, it's uh, gathering all around me, you know? I don't know how much longer I can hold on. I get lost in it. I give in to it. I can't. <laughs> I can't find my way back to the people who love me. break your commandments every day for power, for money. Please don't make my family pay for the things that I do. If you spare this baby, I will do everything in my power to make sure never harmed. I promise. From the son who spared. Amen. Besides, I know that the fluids are good for the baby. Hey, is it harder on you when I talk about the baby? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I, just, I don't want to give up hope, but it's like, you know, it's like I feel like we're trapped in a nightmare and it's always going to be like this every time we, we don't, try to have sorry, a child. Don't, don't right? think that. I don't want to make this difficult for you, you know, but sometimes I wish you were, you know, you were just, you were still unconscious so you wouldn't have to worry about me and I could carry the weight for you. Well, that's not fair. Yeah. No. We're keeping it even. Okay, and my job 
is going to be to believe enough for both of us. Now, anyway, I was thinking about some things, like names. So what do you think of um, Morgan after Jason? It'd work for a boy or a girl. <laughs> oh, unless you think Morgan Corinthos sounds a little too much like a certain coffee warehouse that we all know and love. You know what? For the first time, you can go ahead and choose any name you want. <laughs> hey, just want to check in and see if you guys need anything. Uh, no, I'm going to go... Uh... It's some more oranges, okay? More oranges, okay. <laughs> Sonny, don't you think it's enough already? No. No? Mm. Hey, can you sit with her? Sure. All right. I'm not going to be long. Hey, you too. All right. All right. Okay. Thanks. Sonny needed um, a minute by himself. Mm. He's so worried about this baby, it's choking him. Causing stress. It's not good for the baby. We still have one. You know, you're the only person in the whole world who doesn't feel the need to jump in and try to tell me everything's gonna be okay, hope for the best, all that kind of talk. You know? Is there anything I can do? Uh, if we lose the baby, I'm gonna take Carly somewhere to recover. Probably the island. You go ahead and work things out here for me. If the baby makes it, I will not risk my son or daughter again. I need you to come back. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks. First things first. I want you to go see Faith. I already did. She wouldn't say there's a silent partner, but she's lying. I don't know what to do about she's that. She's dead. Sorry to interrupt. What do you want? I realize business is the last thing on your mind at the moment, but uh, a few matters have come up that need to be resolved. I just want your authorization to take care of them. We talked to Jason. He's back at work. I need a little clarification here. You gave me specific instructions not to trust Jason. Then. Yeah, it was then. This is now, man. Right? Jason and I have set all the differences. We, I trust him with my life, with my family's life. So there's no reason I, I wouldn't be able to trust him with any business that comes up. I, I got to go see my, my wife. Yeah, how is she? she? She's holding her own. Oh, good. Look, look, I know you and Carly are going through a difficult time right now. Just try to stay positive. I'm sure everything's going to work out. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for your support, too. Can't imagine that I said anything wrong. Do you know any other way? What do you got? Look, I can't handle on my own. Mm -hmm. I'll decide, not yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, candid to a fault as usual. Look, Jason, I realize that you don't like me and there's nothing that I can do to change that. But we both work for Sonny. I think we need to find a way and to... And I, I meant just what I said after Benny's funeral. The day I find out that you've done anything to hurt Sonny, Carly, or Michael is not going to be a good day for you, Rick. So any business problems, you tell me. If they exist, if they don't, now would be a good time for you to leave. You don't, you don't even know what I had to go through to get this orange juice. Oh, Sonny, enough's enough I already. Went all the way 
to the cafeteria. Oh, all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I got it, you know, got in the elevator, it took forever, right? Mm -hmm. Stopped on every floor picking up patients carting portable IVs, right? <laughs> so I get there and I stand at the end next to this sweet old lady, mm -hmm. right? Minding my own business. So suddenly she turns to me, I think the comment on how slow the line was going. And before my eyes, she turns into a banshee. Really? She starts like yelling, it's Sonny Carentos, the gangster, you know. Oh, ah, poor baby. Yeah, 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 so you better drink up now. Oh. It's the least you can do. You're right, you're right. You know, I'm going to do more than that. I'm going to drink up, and when the carton's gone, I'm going to save it for our baby, and I'm going to tell the story about how Daddy went down and got Mommy orange juice while she was in the hospital. It'll be good. Speaking of baby, we need to face reality. No, no, no. Son, we need, it's a don't. chance. There's no. a chance. There's a I chance. know our baby is going to be fine. I know this. How are you feeling? I'm good. No cramping? Mm -mm, nothing. So what, what happens now? We're going to do an ultrasound to see if your baby survived. This may take a moment. Okay. Yeah. You sure? Well, can you just tell us what, it, what, what happened? What happened is you have a healthy baby. See? Right here. <laughs> nice, strong heartbeat. So, Carly, you have no cramping, no bleeding. <laughs> so, barring any other complications, you two can expect your baby sometime in November. Look, Sonny, look. <laughs> it's our son. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a boy? Well, it's, it's too soon to determine the sex. Mm -hmm. No one has to tell me, I know. I can feel it. A little boy still. I'm waiting. For what? For little magic words. <clears throat> Carly, you were right. Yes, I was, wasn't I? Thank God. You see, it's okay to hope. I want this baby so much. I want it to be born, I want it to live, I want to be a good father. This baby will never be afraid, and it will never hurt. Sonny, you wish will come true. I know this. Hey, <laughs> little boy, little girl. I, I love you. Can you hear me? He can hear you, <laughs> and our son loves you too. So does his mama. Really? Really. All right, I want to get you out of here as soon as I can. As soon as Dr. Meadow says you can go, I want you out of here, okay? All right? Okay. And you rest. Hey, little one. Your daddy was in a bit of trouble. But you helped him. You pulled him back from that edge. And everything's going to be... Perfect now. What? How's, how's Carly? Great. Dr. Meadows did an ultrasound and uh, he was okay. Good. We, baby, we saw the baby moving, right? And the heart was beating. Carly wants to, she, she swears it's a boy. She wants to name it Morgan. Morgan Corinthos. Right. My, 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 my kid's gonna have the name of a damn warehouse. <laughs> at, least, at least my kid's gonna have a name, right? Hey. 
Hey, everything's good. The baby's fine, yeah. Everything's okay. Sonny, that's wonderful. I'm really happy for you and Carly. Look, Sonny, I... You know, I want to come back to work for you. And I won't do anything that you need. But Courtney and I... are going to stay together, and if you can't accept that, maybe now's the time to say so. Jason told me, and I am so glad. <laughs> uh, Courtney. I'd have died if you didn't pull me up. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's why it sounds ridiculous to say you're welcome, so... Maybe I should just thank you for holding on. God, Carly, I was so afraid that I wasn't going to be able to pull you out. You did. You did. And so I owe you my life and my baby's life. And you know, you can't just be his aunt. You need to be his godmother, too. His? <laughs> did the doctor tell you it was a boy? No, but I don't need any doctor to tell me. I know, because I can feel it. And I've already told Sonny we are having a boy. <laughs> Have you seen him? He's so much better, Courtney. What about you? I'm fine. I want to get out of here. I want to go home. <laughs> Michael keeps calling every five minutes, and Sonny's supposed to be getting me out of here. Have you seen him? Sonny, uh, he asked Jason to come back to work. Are they out there right now? Yeah. Yeah. What's the problem, Courtney? Sonny still doesn't want Jason and I to be together. Well, it's just gonna take him a little time to accept it. But taking Jason back is the first step. I guess so. Yeah, everything's gonna be okay now that the baby's fine. <laughs> Sonny will be better, too. I will. That includes Courtney. You know she'd be safer away from here, away from here. I can protect your family and be with Courtney. Sonny, I wish you could believe that. I'm doing everything I can to take care of the people I love. Keep them safe. And if that means making the selfish choice, then that's what I gotta do to protect what's mine. But you gotta know that if Courtney gets hurt, it's on your head. Just thank you. Don't don't expect um, Sonny to apologize or say that he made a mistake or anything like that. Yeah, I know. I've, <laughs> I've already managed to figure that out about him. So he's still out in the lounge, right? With Jason. Through. Yeah, probably. You know, letting Jason come back to work is a big deal. It's a big step. Courtney, now Sonny's going to be able to relax. And he's going to let Jason take care of a few things. Yeah, well, hopefully Sonny will be able to dial it down a notch and not be so angry. He's already so much better. You should have seen him after my exam earlier. I, just knowing that our baby's okay. You know that he would have blamed himself if I lost the baby. Yeah, I know. He thinks big picture. God, the universe, and he really does think that no child of his will ever be born because he's done such terrible things. He really believes that he's cursed, doesn't he? He does. But anyway, yeah, I shouldn't have said anything. It's going to be okay now. <laughs> now, because our baby's okay, he can take that as a sign. That can be his answered prayer. 
if it's gonna just pull him out of that darkness and things will get better. I'm tired of fighting with you over court. If you want to stay with her, go ahead. But you better understand something. You're risking her life and you're compromising your ability to do your job. I, I can handle it. You think so? You really think? Yeah, you can I know. It? I know I can. You, everything. Sonny, everything's fine <laughs> right now. I mean, Carly and the baby are safe. You, you were, you were okay with this a couple of minutes she ago. She fall down the stairs. She, she can no, open the wrong car door. Do this what am, I'm, I'm not going to act like these things. What happened? happened in the past doesn't mean that you're going to lose this baby. What does it mean? That what I do doesn't matter. That nobody has to pay. When Cody was sick. I prayed. I promised God that if. He spared this baby. I would do everything in my power to protect my baby. That's what I gotta do. He's over the rough spot. Well, I don't think that I've helped very much. Don't blame yourself. You love Jason. You make him happy. And maybe one day, Sonny will learn to appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Everything's all right now, right? How are you feeling? Aren't you supposed to be getting me out of here? Yeah, Dr. Meadows is working on it. So you hired Jason back? I think it's great. First of all, um, I want to thank you for saving Carly's life. I didn't tell you before, I was too nervous, but uh, I'm very grateful. You're welcome, Sonny. I'm just glad that I could be there. You risked your own life, you know, pulling her out. I mean, she could have dragged you down, you both would have drowned. We didn't, Sonny. Um, <clears throat> I, I want you. You know, I want you to have a life, I want you to have a future. So there's, there's no chance of forgetting Jason and let me send you to college? No. All right, then I guess I can, you know, I gotta see what I gotta do, right? I need Jason. Is it settled then? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Sonny. You won't be sorry about this, I promise. So, can we forget about this forever? We All right, someone get me out of here, please. Please. <laughs> what, are you giving, you giving orders now? Yes. Yeah. I want to go home. <laughs> I feel better than I have in such a long time. Glad to hear it. Because you and me and Jason, we are a family again. Because I'm selfish. Yeah, well, <laughs> so am I. I brought Jason back to protect you. Even though there's a risk to Courtney's life. I'm not gonna lose you or the baby. No, you won't. I promise God I can. Carly's room again. The doctor says I'm supposed to walk. I'm not gonna say it twice, Faith. Look, about this silent partner thing, there's been a big misunderstanding. What's the misunderstanding? You'll tell me who your silent partner is. No. No? Like I told Jason, there's no partner. <laughs> You're gonna tell me. Now? Or later, but you're gonna tell me. Either way, I'm talking to a dead woman. Who 
Faith sees, who she speaks to, everything she does. Yeah. What are you doing? I just walked down the stairs. I was okay. You you just got out of the hospital. You're supposed to be in bed. No, actually, they let me go because I don't have to be in bed anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm not joking, Carly. I'm serious. Look, the baby's fine. I'm fine. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Everything is under control now. No, it's not. What do you mean by normal activity? Well, I mean, yeah, but shouldn't she stay in bed? Would it be better if she, you know, stayed off her feet? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Meadows. Relax now. You freeze, I'm cold. I'm gonna turn on you. Yeah, you, you know what? I, I am cold, but body heat's quicker. Get over here. <sighs> you didn't need anything. Well, I'll finish it later. All right. This is what the doctor ordered. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. It shouldn't you be resting? I'm not tired. I, I can't. I don't want to do this right now. You never say that to me. the baby. It's all right. It's all right. Is this what you plan to calm me down? Or worried, or annoyed, or shut down? Yeah, that too. Well, it worked, didn't it? I'm just saying, I just, you know, I just want you to be safe. Sonny, my falling through the ice was an accident. There are some things you can't control. You just have to let it go. Not everything's an accident. There are people out there waiting for the, the chance. Maybe I know who they are, maybe I don't. But anybody can just walk through that door as a deliberate person, you know what I'm saying? Sonny. I'm just telling you Sonny, right now that... you cannot no, do this. I can't help it. I have faith in us, in all of us, in you, in me, in Michael, in our baby. I saw that picture on the monitor in the doctor's office. Tiny little life, the heart beating. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. How can I protect that baby? You know what I mean? How can I make sure his heart keeps beating? You believe. You okay? Be across the hall, okay? You need me. Thanks for seeing me. Um, I've been putting a lot of thought into this Faith Roscoe situation, and while I may have come up with a, a, a strategy to find a way to well, suss out who this partner is. Jason and I are handling it. I'll call you if I need you. Jason's a good man, and as much as I hate to admit it, he is good at his job. I'm sure he's already identified who the silent partner is and is dealing with him or her as we speak. Probably doesn't want to bother you with it with everything you've got going on. 
Meeting's over. Right. Now, if there's anything else I can do. Going stir crazy though. How long has it been? <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> I know, I guess I should have a little patience, huh? Yeah, well, I don't know much about patience, so. Oh, why, do, why does Sonny and Jason get to risk themselves? You know, I mean, they could get hurt just as easily as you and me. Because they've got PhDs in danger management. <laughs> Or else they're just incredibly chauvinistic and overprotective. Yeah, well, that goes without saying. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's time that they realize that it is possible for a woman to protect herself. What are you getting at? <laughs> PhDs and danger management. I mean, how hard can it be? Time, what's going on? Faith knows that the silent partner shot her or hired someone to take her out. She's afraid to give him up. Okay. Her fear could go either way. If this guy keeps leaning on her, there's a chance. If he leans on her what, Jason? He'll, he'll die of natural causes? Like Faith's grandmother and the shooter did? Yeah, Faith could turn. I've been thinking about Benny lately. Him lying there in, in his overcoat still cold some memories still stick you know what i'm saying jason lily opening the car door the sound of the baby monitor when carly and i lost our first child nobody understands that in one minute all hell can break loose and i could lose my whole family We're gonna find Faith's partner. When? Uh, Sonny, I know how to handle this. Just trust me. It will get done. Okay. Hey, um, do I need to disappear again? No, no. Stay here. We're done. Hey. Everything okay? Y yeah. Jason, Jason and I are on the same page, right, Jason? Yeah. Um, I'll get back to you as soon as I have something for you. So what happened? Nothing. Did Rick annoy you or something? No, I'm fine. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Well, good. Because there's something that I wanted to tell you before when Rick came in. Our baby is not fragile. He's strong. He's a fighter. He is just like you and me. And my fall through the ice, it proved that. Because he could have died, his heart could have stopped beating, but it didn't. Because he is so determined to live and be born. And we just need to believe in his strength, sweetie. Can you do that? I'll work on it. And you need to have a little faith in me, too, because, as you can tell, I don't get knocked down too easily. Loving you keeps me strong. And I need you more than I need balanced meals, more than I need vitamins and fresh air and sunshine. So don't worry. Okay, we have each other. And it will pull us through anything.
That package has been dropped. <laughs> you planted the evidence that fast? Yeah, well, I, I like to waste time. Hmm?